Hey my friends, in this video now we're going to start looking at the apostrophe D group. And this means that when the ED is in the regular past tense verb, it's really a case of the E disappears, right? So let's go see it now and let's see some examples. So let's look now, we have the three groups. We have the ED group, we have the T group, and we have the apostrophe D group, okay? We have three possible sounds for ED. The first group is super easy. It really has the clear ED sound and nobody has problems with this group, right? Wanted, needed, ended. The students with the most basic English don't have problems with it. Other examples are contacted, expected, wanted, wasted, visited, projected, accepted. Very easy, very phonetic and no problems. So really we have two groups that are the most important the T group and the apostrophe D group. So how do we know the difference? I remember doing this in, in schools and language schools and trying to show students and they're like, well, okay, great, there's three groups, but how, how do I know the difference? How do I know when to pronounce one to the other? So really it's this simple question because the T group is so important and we don't have so many verbs. We don't have so many verbs in the T group, but it's also the most important. So the question, is it the T group or not? You start this, it's a process of elimination. You start to learn, is it a T group or not? Is it a T group or not? Because we don't have so many T group verbs that we can quickly learn most of them. And then from there, you will start to see, ah, okay, it's a T group or it's not. Now, what I have been teaching you is that you need to identify the letter before the ED. The letters, the first letters you need to learn to identify the S, SH, C, CH, K, and P. If you learn to identify these letters first, it becomes a process of elimination. It's the question, is it a T group or not? Because we don't have so many T group verbs. And you can quickly learn to identify and then with process of elimination, you will see that with any other consonant, right? L, N, M, or B, V, G, W, Y, or Z, any other consonant, the E, D is apostrophe D. That the E, just the letter E, just disappears. That's it. All other consonants, right? Here we have some of the most common examples of the apostrophe D group. Used, listened, called, arrived, lived, burned, loved, showed, imagined, cried, appeared, and planned. Now again, look closely, look carefully. The ED is really apostrophe D. Apostrophe, just the E just disappears. Used, loved, showed, cried, etc. So again, got to remember your two steps. Call, called. Call, called, right? Always go slowly. Called, called. Not called, but called. So I've prepared some nice examples with the most common verbs, and I want you to look closely and go slowly, listening, pausing, and training every time. All right? Let's go. I lived there for eight years and I loved it. I lived there for eight years and I loved it. They listened to us with total attention. They listened to us with total attention. They listened to us with total attention. He called me yesterday to tell me what happened. He called me yesterday to tell me what happened. He called me yesterday to tell me what happened. Happened. We showed them our new project yesterday. We showed them our new project yesterday. We showed them. We showed them our new project yesterday. She planned her trip perfectly. 
She planned her trip perfectly. She planned her trip perfectly. She planned her trip perfectly. I was so disappointed I cried. I was so disappointed I cried. I cried. It wasn't what you imagined, was it? It wasn't what you imagined, was it? We arrived right on time. We arrived right on time. Okay, my friends, that ends this video with the apostrophe D group. I hope it was useful learning the most important verbs. Now, the next two videos, we're going to look about used and used. We're going to learn exactly when and how used can be apostrophe D and also a T group. Okay, see you there, guys.